Well, the big news that we are currently tracking, sources to News 9 have said that the AICC has decided to nominate Professor Rajiv Gowda to the Rajya Sabha and this has not gone down too well with veteran leader SM Krishna who is now mulling quitting all party posts and giving up his primary membership with the Indian National Congress. He's been a leader who's been with the Congress for many, many years now, especially the State Congress. There's no question of what kind of a role he's played. He's always been the veteran, the expert someone who has solved the issues if there have been any infighting or anything of that sort and it looks like SM Krishna is not too happy with uh, uh, the decision. We're joined in uh, by Mr. B.R. Sudarshan who is uh, the Congress spokesperson. Mr. Sudarshan, if you can confirm whether in fact you've decided on the name of Professor Rajiv Gowda for your nomination to Rajya Sabha. <laughs> Mr. Sudarshan, if you can hear me, if you can confirm whether your party has decided on who you will be Hello, nominating. Hello, I'm unable to hear. Hello? Yes, Mr. Sudarshan. Well, uh, Mr. Sudarshan, if you can hear me. Right, it seems like we may have lost uh, Mr. Sudarshan. We will try to connect him once again so we can get some sort of confirmation from uh, the Congress leaders as to whether, in fact, they have decided on the name, whether they have decided who will be representing them in the Rajya Sabha. Going by our sources, going by our reports, it is going to be Professor Rajiv Gowda. Yes, a lesser known face. When you look at the likes of SM Krishna or even the name of uh, Dr. G. Parameshwar, we've had so much of uh, speculation and now uh, there is news coming in that it could be a relatively lesser known leader, someone who has been a spokesperson for the Congress, Professor Rajiv Gowda, who will in fact represent the AICC. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about this decision as well. Sidramaya, uh, the KPCC President, G. Parmeshwara, all of them were in the national capital. They were discussing with the Congress High Command, including of course Karnataka in charge minister Dick Vijay Singh as to exactly who will be chosen. Keep in mind that if Professor Rajiv Gowda is the one who has been nominated, the Congress very well knew that this would be a repercussion, that they would face an issue. Once again, we're joined in by Congress spokesperson Mr. Sudarshan. Uh, Mr. Sudarshan, if you can confirm if you have nominated someone to the Rajya Sabha yet. Hello, I'm not able to hear. Hello. Mr. Mr. Sudarshan, if you can hear me, any confirmation as to Hello? who will be chosen? Right, uh, it seems like uh, we will, uh, in fact, get back to him for more details. But uh, uh, let's uh, go in and check out big news that's just coming in. SM Krishna has clarified on the resignation drama. He has stated that he will not quit Congress under any circumstances. SM Krishna has stated that I am a dedicated and loyal party member. So all of it, brushing all of it aside and stating that no matter what, come what may, even if he is not chosen as a, in fact the nomination by the Congress for the Rajya Sabha, he's made it very clear that he will not quit. The veteran leader has stated that he is a dedicated and loyal party member. So SM Krishna making it absolutely clear that there's no truth to the reports and all this is mere speculation that even if he is not chosen, even if it is Professor Rajiv Gowda, there is absolutely no bad blood and SM Krishna will not quit the Congress under any circumstances that he is a dedicated and loyal party member. We're once again joined in by my colleague Harish. Harish, finally some sort of clarity coming in. SM Krishna not giving away exactly who has been chosen by the Congress but making it very clear that whatever decision it is, he will not quit. Yes, uh, a senior Congress leader, he's coming out and uh, giving out a very diplomatic answer stating that uh, I'm a dedicated party worker and I will not quit but uh, just the news of the fact that uh, he's not being nominated for the Rajya Sabha is sending out a loud message from the AICC to the state leadership on uh, how whatever your stature might be, however big uh, might be but uh, the AICC will have the final say and uh, now it will be interesting how all the other uh, supporters of SM Krishna react to this news uh, including MLAs and MPs who have been elected from Karnataka uh, some of them who are uh, staunch loyalists of SM Krishna how they will react in the coming few days and uh, whether this decision of the AICC uh, will increase anti-party activities or uh, infighting within the Congress. Already, as we know, there are several groups, several uh, uh, different factions in the, within the Congress, not just in the Congress, even in the Mandya Congress as well.
how will this now pan out in the few, next few days for the congress will this increase the infighting also if this has to be if this decision of uh, the aicc to not nominate sm krishna is interpreted as a punishment or a warning signal for the loss in mandya then uh, obviously you can expect the sm krishna supporters to demand uh, action against the other fraction that's the ambarish fraction as well so will there be act, uh, will there be some sort of a warning or a action against the ambarish uh, group in the mandya district congress will i remember in the past uh, few weeks we are hearing news that uh, uh, some of the ministers might lose their uh, cabinet position for not ensuring uh, the victory of uh, congress high command candidates like ramya and nandan nilekani so can we expect some senior leaders to be taken out of the cabinet uh, these are some of the things that we'll get to know in the next few days but going by the president said remember a former chief minister a former external affairs minister denied the rajya sabha ticket means that the congress means business now and uh, you can expect any harsh and stringent action against other leaders in the congress akshita Right, uh, Harish, we'll come back to you for more details, but uh, once again to highlight to our viewers, of course, uh, there was a lot of talk uh, about uh, what uh, reports have been suggesting that, in fact, uh, that nomination to Rajya Sabha has gone to Professor Rajiv Gowda, and the same did not go down too well with SM Krishna, the former chief minister, had, in fact, been mulling over quitting, but uh, soon after, he has clarified and made it very clear that he will not quit the Congress come what may, even if he is not chosen, even if it is some Someone like Professor Rajiv Gowda, SM Krishna will not go ahead and quit the party and that he is a dedicated and loyal party worker. So no doubt that is uh, not going to be a huge blow for uh, the Congress. It looks like it could be a well-calculated decision, but we are still awaiting confirmation as to exactly who is the person who is being nominated by the Congress for the Rajya Sabha. Well, we will continue to bring you more updates, but for now, it's a wrap on this edition of the Bulletin. Up next is a Newsline Entertainment Special. Stay tuned.